You just witnessed reggaeton legend Bad Bunny grabbing a woman's phone out of her hand and tossing it as she was attempting to take a selfie. I don't know how I feel about this because on one hand, I get it. On the other hand, there's a better way of handling it. Although if you have people shoving their phones in your face day in, day out, it does get a little tiresome and maybe he just had a moment Mm-hmm. Lapse of judgment, lost his temper and did that. He's genu- generally a pretty like stand up, friendly, kind guy. Yeah. Like he's not really embroiled in any kind of controversy like this. So it was kind of surprising to see it. Um, now he did not apologize for it. <laughs> uh, well, okay. So in the video, that video of the incident went viral pretty quickly. But instead of offering an apology, here's what he did. He defended his actions. So why don't we hear him out and you tell me what you think. He says, quote, anyone who comes up to me to say hello, to tell me something or just to meet me will always receive my attention and respect. Those who come to put a damn phone in my face, I'll consider what that what it is, a lack of respect and I'll treat that the same way. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, obviously, Bad Bunny has a massive fandom. So if I could address them first, uh, he's under a lot of pressure. This person got in his personal space, so he was totally right to do what he did. So now you can go. I don't like it at all. Yeah, no, I, I like hear you. All. I mean, I, I wish I get- he would have handled it differently. I, what, what's also kind of funny about that video is how they're like all having a great time. Like everyone's like hooting and hollering and everything. Yeah. And then as soon as he tosses the phone, it kind of gets silent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. So I, I think I like some of the distinctions he makes in his message between yeah. if somebody just comes up to him versus someone who puts him, the phone in his face. I found what she was doing to be unacceptable. Yeah, I, I didn't like it at all. But two wrongs don't make a but right. But yeah, and you can't just then say, well, it's disrespect, so I do the same. Well, but you didn't do the same. Mm-hmm. You destroyed property, which is different. That would be like, if she'd come up and like ripped your necklace off or something, like you you escalated past that. And I get that she did this one thing to you. You've had it done hundreds of times. Mm-hmm. So the collective toll on Bad Bunny is intense, of probably way worse than what we just saw in that video. Probably everywhere he goes, probably people do yeah. stuff like that. But that's like that's one of the burdens of I guess being famous is that. At the end of the day, when you do something like that, for you, that's just one of thousands of interactions. But when we see it, we evaluate it like if I saw you do that to someone, I would be shocked by that. Right. Well, from the point of view of the phone being destroyed, it's the same if Bad Bunny does it. So I don't know exactly what the solution is. And it sucks to always have to be surrounded by a ring of bodyguards or something. Oh my God. But I don't think that you can just take like a $600,000 object and huck it. Like I don't think you can do that. Six hundred to a thousand dollar object. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, phones are so expensive. I mean, phones cheap when you're a millionaire, but for a regular person. I think it was last week when Jenk and I were doing the show remotely, and there were tech issues, and uh, I got so panicked and frustrated about the tech issues because we're working from home. It was the tech issues were on my end, mm-hmm. and I gra- like I was so frustrated. I grabbed my phone and I slammed oh. it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's look, yeah. Is that the case? Yeah. No, no, it's not the case. Hey, Apple, how about don't make the back of the phone glass? Like there I hate I can't stand oh, Apple. There's a reason. No, I there isn't that. a reason. There isn't a reason. They metal. want us to break our phones. Uh, they want maybe. us to break our phones. Put a, put a dark case on so it. So stupid. It. Why would you make a phone out of glass? Why? It's fancy. Look at this. Look at this. People want it to be fancy. And I don't want to get another phone. I just Do you want yeah. it to be oh, plastic? Let's not, I mean, how about not my face, but how about I, I would say I would for now, I wouldn't replace it. I would get a case with a dark back. I just wanna I want to be able to slam my thousand dollar phone. We should kickstart a phone that is terrible in every way, except you can wail on it and nothing bad happens. No, I want it to like function the way that my phone currently functions, mm-hmm. but is durable enough for me to like there's cases that have do a that. temper tantrum, be abusive toward my phone, and then not destroy it. You want to be able to get in Bad Bunny's face, he throws your phone, and nothing bad happens. 
Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. Is that so much to ask? But that's the thing. If the phone was durable enough, I don't even think the Bad Bunny story would be that controversial. Yeah, I think that really pushy people with no respect for personal space could use a product like that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there's one tweet yeah. in there that you got to read. Okay. I thought it was pretty funny. So who cares what we think? What do the people think? Well, they're divided on this issue. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. Uh, in one tweet, someone says, people need to stop acting like celebrities are their best friends. You're a complete stranger to them. You can't just run up, invade their personal space and start recording. I agree. By the way, I think that, that goes right. for everyone. I'm kind of tired of living in this like surveillance state where like the initial fear was the government surveilling us, which by the way is true and is a problem. But what's become an even bigger problem is Americans surveilling Americans. Like oh, just everyone mm -hmm. surveilling each other. Put your goddamn phones down for a second. And yeah. like this obsession with destroying everyone's life in the moment where they're having a bad moment, I think is gross. But anyway, moving on, another person tweets, I love him, but this was unnecessary. And everyone justifying his actions are weird. A normal human being with a uh, human being with rational thinking would have told this person, can you please back away? Him just grabbing her phone and throwing it like that was completely rude. Mm. Interesting. He, he could say that, but yeah. I, I don't think a lot of these people would back away. Like he, I am, when I say that I didn't like that he threw it, I am not saying that I think he was in a perfectly fine situation and he shouldn't have freaked out. I bet it's awful, but I just don't think that specifically is. Like it's not you can't just do anything. Like if he'd punch her in the face, is that okay? No, like there are certain lines that you can't cross. But that yeah. said, people should not do this and we should learn as a society that just because you've listened to a person's song doesn't mean that they're not a person anymore and you can just have whatever interaction with them you fantasize about. People don't want phones in their faces. No. You know? No, uh, nobody like, does. Yeah. So just be cognizant of that. And he's again, he's probably had it happen to him so many times that he lost his temper. Yeah. Um, I'm not giving him an excuse or providing an excuse for what he did. I don't think he should have done it, okay? But I'm also not gonna be too hard on him because I can't imagine what it's like yeah. to deal with this regularly. Um, I don't know if this was the tweet you were referring to, but I, this is my personal favorite. He never said he was a good bunny. That was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so that good. is true. Like you knew when you came up to him, you yelled his name. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah. He, he told you he was truthful. You know, no false advertising. Now, uh, that unfortunate incident aside, Bad Bunny has actually been pretty generous of late. So I wanted to kind of provide some balance. Um, on December 27th, Bad Bunny gave out more than 25,000 presents to fans of all ages at his Good Bunny. Oh, he is a good bunny. <laughs> Foundations Bonita Tradition gift drive. Uh, you try that since you know. I'm good. Okay. Uh, right following now. the gift drive, uh, he filmed part of a music video for his recent single, uh, La Humpa, right? La Humpa? Humpa? Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm a uh, gringa, as they say, uh, with <laughs> rapper <laughs> Archangel in Puerto Rico's Calle Loiza. A neighborhood where a large crowd began to form. Bad Bunny then treated the fans to an impromptu performance of several songs, including Gato de Noche, Efecto, Mi Porto Bonito, and El Apagón from the roof of a Gulf gas station, according to videos shared via social media. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. So, no, no, and, and look, by the way, he has, I thought he has a reputation like that. No, he does, time. exactly. Yeah. That's why what he did seemed so out of character. And yeah, look, his music's look, so relaxed. The most, no, his music's awesome. Um, no, but it's not relaxed. The main point I wanna make is, look, we all have a good bunny side. And I think most of us are mostly good bunnies. But every once in a while, look, we're flawed, right? So we have our bad bunny elements too. Yeah, yeah so everyone has two bunnies in them. And you do. decide which you feed. <laughs> no, no, but look, seriously though. Do you though, feed the carrot to the good bunny or the bad joke, bunny? Jokes aside, jokes aside, we shouldn't be so quick to judge a person based on their worst moments. And I think that's the era we're in right now and we're not generous to people. Why are you making that face? Oh, I, I heard a sound from there, so I glanced at the control room. Just I thought I heard someone go, yeah! Right, like generosity of kindness. like. 
being a little more empathetic toward people and not automatically thinking they're all bad because of something you disagree with or because of some bad moment they have. I've had yeah, bad yeah, moments too, we've all had bad moments. And, and also, believing people when they say they've apologized for something they did in their past, they've grown from something they did in their past, they've moved on. Like if we should incur if we believe it and there's actual evidence, like they've actually proven themselves to be, you know, different and better. Like I hate when obviously like a person in question has changed from who they were 20 years ago and rather than, you know, providing positive reinforcement for that growth and that change, like the knee jerk is let's go back to what they did 20 25 years ago and just, yeah. you know, go after them for that. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it provides a disincentive for growing in my opinion. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, no, there's been a couple pretty high profile cases of like something from like a long time ago. Yeah. And like if look, if the person has continued to live in, the, in their life in a way where it's not super clear if this is still representative, and then maybe you could have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't think we should allow our, our anger, rage or frustration with people who are like that right now mm -hmm. to try to lump in as many as possible yep. and think that that's, that that's the same fight when it, it probably isn't. Exactly, no, you, you totally yeah. articulated what I was thinking and you're absolutely right about that. Anyway, um, and look, I, I remember back in the day when like I was definitely quick to judge, I regret that. Like I regret that a lot. I regret a lot of the stories we did back in the day where we showed like videos of someone in their bad moment and just thought like, no, this person should lose everything. And it's not fair, it's not mm -hmm. fair to people. Like people are mostly a mixed bag. Yeah. Like even with Joe Biden, you've got his like dweeb Biden moments that we don't like, the neoliberal component. And then there's the like, they're far, uh, few and far between. But his I'll dark have an episode brand, on that, but yeah. <laughs> the dark Brandon moments are great. Yeah, they like, can be. It's been a bit. Well, he was we asked. One. He was asked recently about the whole McCarthy debacle, and he's like, I think he said like, uh, let that me, it's an international embarrassment. No, he didn't say that. He's like, oh, he's like, not my problem. Mm. Yeah, I like that response. That's the right response. Not my problem. Just pair it with an executive order. <laughs> yeah, no, totally, totally. It's been a little bit. He did some good stuff, but it's been a little bit. Yeah, do more for us. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.